Is it time to buy or sell quantum computing stock? In this video, we will delve into the world of quantum computing. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, the 8th of January, 2025, and now we are here to provide you with an even more comprehensive analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay informed on our latest analysis. You do not want to miss any crucial updates that could affect your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool, powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Harness the power of AI and receive a free price prediction and in-depth analysis for any one of 45,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be regarded as financial advice. Since the 8th day of January in the year 2025, our system has categorized quantum computing as a strong sell candidate, assigning it a score of negative 5.81. Now, let's examine the stock's performance during this time period. We will continue to monitor this evaluation to observe how it develops in the days ahead. The current three-month trend indicates a potential change of 205.26% over the next three months, with a possible return ranging from 205.26% to 820.85%. Regarding the 12-month trend, it suggests a change of 43.22% over the next 12 months, with a potential return between negative 65.35% and 277.2%. This results in a price range of $3.43 to $37.36 after a year. Our latest daily update for quantum computing includes the headline, Volatile Ride for Quantum Computing Incorporated Stock Price on Wednesday, moving between $8.50 and $12.73. The Quantum Computing Incorporated Stock Price dropped by 43.34% on the last trading day which was Wednesday, the 8th of January, 2025, falling from $17.49 to $9.91. During that trading session, the stock experienced a fluctuation of 49.76%, with a low of $8.50 and a high of $12.73. The price has decreased in six of the last 10 days and is down by 45.52% over this period. The volume increased on the last trading day by 41 million shares, although this occurred alongside falling prices. This may serve as an early warning, signaling a slight increase in risk over the next few days. In total, 74 million shares were traded for approximately $735,100,000. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest stock price reached was $27.15, while the lowest price was $0.35. Currently, the price stands 63.50%, or $17.24, below the 52-week high of $27.15, which is also the all-time high for the stock. Quantum Computing, Incorporated, with the ticker symbol QUBT, is currently encountering significant challenges, as its stock price has sharply declined amid investor skepticism regarding the feasibility and timeline of quantum technologies. Recent remarks from the CEO of NVIDIA indicating that practical applications of quantum computing may still be 15 to 30 years away, have created considerable uncertainty within the industry. This outlook has played a role in the substantial drop in QBT's share price, which has reversed part of its impressive 2,620% increase over the past three months. In addition to these market concerns, QBT has announced a private placement of common stock targeting institutional investors, successfully raising $100 million through the sale of over 8 million shares. While this influx of capital is a positive development for the company's operations, the timing of this move raises questions about current market sentiments. Given the mixed signals emerging from recent market activity, which includes rapid growth followed by sudden declines, QBT's short-term stock performance is likely to be volatile as investor confidence shifts. However, in the long term, the company's ability to achieve meaningful advancements in quantum technology and effectively utilize the new funding could pave the way for recovery, provided that broader market sentiment begins to tilt back toward optimism in this sector. Observing how QBT navigates these challenges will be essential for both potential investors and current stakeholders. Analyst Ratings on Monday, the 15th of April, 2024, it was reported that Ascendiant assigned QUBT a buy grade along with a hold action.
Analysts have assigned quantum computing stock a general sell rating. They classify the price-to-earnings ratio as strong sell and the price-to-book ratio as buy. Regarding return on investment, analysts have rated the stock with a strong sell classification. The following signals have been identified for quantum computing. Currently, there are few to no technical positive signals. The stock of Quantum Computing Incorporated is showing sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages, resulting in a more negative forecast. During upward corrections, there will be resistance at the levels of $16.69 and $11.22. A breakout above either of these points would trigger buy signals. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Wednesday, December 18, 2024, and since then, the stock has declined by 61.41%. Further declines are expected until a new bottom pivot is established. Additionally, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, or MAD. Yesterday, volume increased alongside falling prices. This could serve as an early warning, indicating that the stock should be monitored more closely. Here are some additional signals that may be of interest. Moving average convergence divergence indicates a sell signal. Pivots indicate a sell signal from 14 days ago. Bollinger suggests a buy signal from 57 days ago. The short-term moving average shows a sell signal from 11 days ago. The long-term moving average also indicates a sell signal from two days ago. Observing the 12-month chart reveals, the short moving average indicates a sell signal from two days ago. The long-term moving average shows a buy signal from 69 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages indicates a buy signal from 71 days ago. For more signals, be sure to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Support, risk, and stop loss for quantum computing. On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $7.93 and $7.70. There is an inherent risk when a stock tests a support level because if this level is broken, the stock may then decline to the next support level. In this instance, Quantum Computing Inc. finds support just below today's level at $7.93. If this level is breached, the next support from accumulated volume will be at $7.70 and $7.62. This stock may experience significant movement throughout the day, indicating high volatility, and with a large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band, this stock is regarded as very high risk. Over the last day, the stock fluctuated $4.23 between its high and low, representing a change of 49.76%. During the past week, the stock has exhibited a daily average volatility of 23.82%. Before we dive into the potential trading levels for quantum computing, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, consider the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This important metric measures a company's current share price relative to its earnings per share. A negative P-E ratio indicates that the company has negative earnings or is incurring losses. Even established companies can experience downturns, often due to factors beyond their control. However, consistently negative P-E ratios may suggest insufficient profitability and potential bankruptcy risks. In other news, the next earnings report for the fourth quarter of 2024 is anticipated on the 31st of March, 2025. Analysts' consensus estimates stand at negative 5 cents. Keep a close watch on these figures as they can significantly influence stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for quantum computing. In the event of an upward trend, the first resistance level for quantum computing is at $11.08. If you do not own any shares, it may be wise to wait for this level to be surpassed before making an investment. For those already holding the stock, this could present an opportunity for swing trading. On the downside, quantum computing faces its first support level at $7.93. If this support level holds, it might serve as a good entry point, anticipating a potential rebound. The combined average rating for quantum computing from multiple analyst sources is to sell. The most recent insider trade for this stock occurred over three months ago. The latest transaction took place on the 4th of October, 2024, when Carl Scott Weimer conducted an insider purchase of 100,000 shares of options to acquire common stock. We have a negative evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been established. 
Is quantum computing stock a good buy? The stock of Quantum Computing Incorporated exhibits several negative indicators. Despite a recent positive trend, we anticipate that Quantum Computing Incorporated will experience weak performance in the coming days or weeks. Consequently, we have revised our assessment of this stock from a hold or accumulate rating to a strong sell recommendation. Our analysis of the volatility and trading patterns from the previous day indicates that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Friday, the 10th of January, we expect Quantum Computing to open at $0.470 and commence trading at $10.38. We want to remind you that trading carries a significant risk of losing money. It is advisable to consult with a financial advisor before engaging in the purchase or sale of any securities. Your investment decisions should not be solely based on the information provided by StockInvest.us. By utilizing this information, you accept responsibility for your own investment choices. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Share your thoughts in the comments below. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day with warm regards from everyone here at Stock Invest.